Hello everyone, I hope that rather than this, I will show you how to make a perfect fruit smoothie. So, um, th there's three steps to making a smoothie. It's uh, preparing the right ingredients, the importance of layering, and blending and serving. Um, did you guys know that only 36% of high school students eat breakfast? And only that makes 64% of students that don't eat breakfast, and they need this to be energized. And this affects school performance, brain function, and overall wellness. Um, I know this because I have done research on this, and I also know the difference between like when I eat breakfast and when I don't eat breakfast in the morning. Um, as high school and soon to be college students, we have to wake up early for class, and um, we like to sleep, like stay in bed, and don't like to get up. So this leaves little time for us to eat breakfast. So what better way than just like taking all your favorite fruits and vegetables and blending them together for a nutritional breakfast? Um, it's also good for older people to lose weight and to get. Um, more fruits and vegetables in. Um, so in the next few minutes, I will attempt to show you and explain the process of making a smoothie. So you start with preparing the ingredients. So, I mean, smoothies are pretty straightforward to make, but um, you have to get the base right in order for it to be a good smoothie. Um, and then you substitute them in for your favorite things. So um, I found for the perfect base for the consistency, you need a half to one cup of bananas, one to two cups of greens or fruits, one half to one cup of water or other liquid, um, one half cup of ice or frozen fruit for the perfect balance base. So, and then this is where you can add in like whatever else you like to put in for like texture, flavor. And then one helpful thing you need to remember is that like, just cause like people throw in a whole bunch of stuff in there doesn't mean like it makes it a better smoothie. But, um, so after you gather all your ingredients that you wanna use, the next step is the layering process. So um, you can't just throw everything in there and expect it to be like a really good smoothie. There's actually, uh, layering is actually a big part of how it turned out. Um, so first you'd thing you'd put in is a liquid, and then you'd put in the powders and the sweeteners. And then if you had any like greens, you'd put those in. And then you'd put in soft ingredients and then fruits, nuts, and seeds. And then finally like the frozen fruits on top. Um, so I'm going to make a banana strawberry smoothie. So I'm going to add one cup of milk. And then a half cup of plain yogurt. And I'm going to add two one teaspoons of honey. And then I'm going to add a half teaspoon of chia seeds. And then I'm going to add one banana, which I'm just going to get a cup of frozen chopped beans. And then I'm going to use two cups of frozen strawberries. Okay, so the reason why I put like the milk first is like because you want to keep the liquids at the bottom so it pulls all the rest of the ingredients down. And then um, so, like depending on how thick or thin you want the smoothie to be like you can add more liquids or not um, then you put in the powders and sweeteners and then then you add the greens I didn't have any but um, then you want to add some firmness so then soft ingredients go next and then like your fruits and nuts and seeds 
And then you top it all off with frozen ingredients so that it weighs all the other ingredients down at the bottom. Um, and then I'm going to talk about blending and serving it up. So there are two main ways you can really blend it. Like you can use a mixer, which like that's what I had, so that's what I'm going to use. Or you can use like an Emerson blender, which is just like a blender that you can make a single smoothie with. But you just want something that'll like really pulverize your fruit and make it to a good consistency. Um, so smoothies are pretty quick, but that doesn't mean like you can just like blend it together in three seconds. So like you want to make sure you blend everything really well so it gets to a nice consistency. So I found the right time to be like one to two minutes. And then um, I obviously don't have like an outlet or anything. So I brought a pre-blended version so what it would look like afterwards. you blend it that's what it should look like so and then finally what you do is after you blend it you just pour it into a cup and then breakfast is served so um, I hope you have learned that there are three steps really to make the perfect smoothie is like preparing the right ingredients the importance of layering and blending and serving um, hopefully by following these suggestions you will start um, your morning off energized and awake, lose weight, or even take in more fruits and vegetables. Um, remember that there are only 36% of high school students that um, eat breakfast, I mean 64% that don't, so um, I hope that this information will help you stay awake and energized and improve your everyday life.